Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Excuse the moving clothes, but we move out in two days and I wanted to make sure I answered every single question about this Pinterest famous fireplace bench um, because I get the same questions over and over again, but also they asked for it in the contract. It's that good uh, for their 10 month old baby girl. So I will not have this version of it again. We might have to make one down the line just because it's so loved and I would want to do it again for someone. Just slides right off the fireplace and underneath is this terrifying fireplace that somebody in the 1990s decided was the hit of the town and put it in everyone's homes and is a death trap to little heads and big shins everywhere. So I didn't want this in our house even though it's very pretty even if we didn't have kids because I am sure to run into this and break my toe and it just has these edges and I just I just didn't want to deal with it and at the time my older one was about nine months old and I just thought oh my gosh she's learning to walk in this house and for sure she's gonna jump right off the couch and we're gonna end up in the ER um, one thing I really need to say is <laughs> move this if you're having a fire it's not fireproof. I think you guys all know that, but my mom always wants me to remind people to please move this before you start a fire. And if you start a fire, the kids aren't near the fireplace anyways, so you're fine. Um, all right, let's turn this around and answer the most common questions. So as you can see, it's pretty lightweight. And as I turn it around, you see it's the front of the bench, the top of the bench, there's obviously no back because you're sliding it over and the two little sides. Um, you can do this for any length fireplace, which is why it's so magical. And it has the reinforcements inside. So if you're doing a super long one, you're just gonna wanna join more pieces of wood together, which is great. The most common question, the blog post is really, really incredible. It'll give you step-by-step -step and all the supplies that you need, um, pictures of us doing it through the process of actually building it. Um, but I think the visual part is the upholstery. So as you can see here, let me do this. As you can see, it's a nurse tuck here. So I just wrapped it like a Christmas present, wrapped it around, took the fabric from the front. So this is all padded with batting. And, um, I took the fabric from the front and I wrapped it tight underneath the top this wasn't on yet and i just wrapped it tight so if you look here this is the fabric from the front of it i pull it super super tight and i staple gunned it all the way and then i did the hospital nurses bed sheet tuck on this side to make it really clean lines then i took the top separately this is a piece of plywood with memory foam and batting and upholstery fabric so I wrapped it like a present. I just put um, it on the sides of the memory, the thicker foam. I went just a little bit over the edges and then the batting I wrapped all the way around to get those plywood edges covered. And then I did a present, like wrapped it just like a present. Right here just has these little tiny tucks. And then I attacked this at the end. So as you can see, it has the reinforcement corners right here. So let's do this. It has the reinforcement corners right here and you're gonna use short screws to screw in the top of it because obviously you don't want it touching your bum and going through the foam. foam so just use like half inch or less here. Um, you can add more of these down the line if you wanna make sure that there's more reinforcement or you can add beams across if you want it to, if you want it to hold a heavier weight. I wasn't too worried about it because it's only about, I mean, half inch above the fireplace stone. So I felt like if there was any bend, it would just touch the stone. Um, there's a couple reasons why I did the top separate. One, it provides a cleaner look. So it allows you to do that this type um, pull here and then the fold on top which just makes the whole thing look cleaner the other reason is because I have kids and they're gross and disgusting 
And so I bought a bunch of extra fabric so that if they ruined the top of it or if I spilled red wine on it or something, and we'll just blame them, that I could unscrew the top and only redo the top um, or even take the fabric off the top, wash it and put it back on. Um, so that's why I did that. I want it to be able to not only make clean lines, but make it easier to clean. Um, scotch card this baby to no end. There are never too many staples. Go for it. And it has held up like a dream in the last three years. I can't even believe it. It's the number one thing complimented in our house. The fireplace guy came to fix, see the, the back? He, he grouted in that or whatever it is. And uh, he was like, where did you get this? And I was like, well, actually it's a DIY. Um, and as I said, they asked for it in their contract. So we're leaving it with the home so that it protects their little girl. Um, but it's just, it's great. And one thing to note, it was our first DIY in this house. So we were handy beforehand a little bit. Uh, we had done, you know, some electrical, we could hang a light bulb or a fan. Uh, we've done, we had done baseboards before at my mom's house and I love painting. I'd like patched walls and stuff like that. But this was probably the first thing we built if I think about it. And it was the first thing we built definitely in this house. And if we can do it, you can do it. And it inspired us to make more projects for the house down the line because it, it was, when I looked it up online to make, to get something like that was thousands of dollars and I didn't even really like the look of it. This I was able to customize exactly towards our home and our taste. Um, and it didn't take too long. So it's definitely a weekend project and send me pictures, tag me, follow me on Instagram, send me pictures of your process. If you have any questions along the line, I am here for me. You can reach out via blog or Instagram and we will help answer anything you can. Again, the blog post has step-by-step -step pictures and shopping lists, every single detail that you need to get this bench done. And um, if you like it and you've done this You've done this bench or you want to see more of our projects, just like and subscribe, comment below. And thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with us on our channel. It means the world to us. And whenever I get a picture of somebody who's built their own bench, it makes my whole day. So thanks for hanging out with us and uh, happy benching. Is that a thing? <laughs>